One week from today, kids get out of school for MEA week, and I've heard so much about this. Minnesota Education Association, MEA, MEA. Okay. Yeah, if you're from here, you know, you know. But if you're <laughs> staying in town like a lot of families do, Eva has some ideas for things to do with your entire family. MEA weekend is creeping up, and we found some festive, fun, and affordable activities. First up, get your fill of haunted history at a Union Depot ghost tour. Guides tell ghost stories and take you to behind the scenes areas of St. Paul's iconic railroad station. Another spooky option, the Ghosts and Gables Haunted Summit Avenue Tour. You'll stroll along Summit with guides who are fully in character. Both of these tour options are $25 a person and take place anywhere between 1 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. Thursday through Sunday of MEA weekend. Tour times vary depending on the day, so be sure to check. For early Halloween fun without the fright, come here to the Como Harriet Street car line, where you can take a ride on the Transylvania trolley. From 12.30 to 4 on Saturday, Count Carl the Vampire Motorman takes you on a 15-minute ride. You can wear a costume and you'll get a treat. It's $3 per person, but kids three and under get in for free. And if you're looking for more of a Hallmark movie style holiday weekend, you can't go wrong with pumpkin patches and orchards. Afton Apple Orchard is open each day from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission is five to seven bucks a person and includes hay rides, play equipment, and a petting farm. Of course, it'll cost more to pick apples. Eva Anderson, CARE 11 News. I've never been apple picking. It's on my list of things to do here. There's so many spots here around the mm -hmm. Twin Cities, so you can just like Google it, okay. search for the best spot. We'll but uh, we've also posted all the information on our website, care11.com.